much, PJ. Well, a Ryerson student has come up with a new app that will match up students and tutors in their neighborhood. To Tourist is being called the first Uber for tutors. And joining us now to tell us how it works is Blawal Alim. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us. This is a smart idea, and you know, considering that there's really nothing out there like it, tell us a little bit more about the app. So the app is called Tutors, and as you said, it's been dubbed the Uber for Tutors. So how it will work is that uh, students will have the opportunity to sign up and find tutors in their area, course-specific tutors. So the tutors will have taken those courses in the past, and they'll be able to tutor students. And at the same time, we want to create jobs for students who may not have, have um, as much time to juggle a part-time job. This way, they'll be able to make money on the go. So it kind of benefits, you know, two separate parties. Just a little bit curious about the, the people that are going to be actually doing the tutoring. You said that these individuals have to have taken the course. In terms of any other kind of, you know, requirements, uh, criteria that they have to have in order to be a tutor, uh, what kind of things that do you look at and also things like background checks? All right, so the way the criteria that we have in place is that we demand a 3.0. So B plus is what the most tutoring service require at the moment. So you will submit your transcript and then we'll have a follow up phone call in which you'll get approved and then you can you can go about tutoring. And, and in terms of, you know, uh, there's always, you know, safety aspects apart. How, how do you, you know, make sure that these individuals are, you know, so we've, been, we've, so we've actually been talking to the schools themselves to make sure that they, they have a process in place to make sure that the tutors are all vetted. So they'll have a phone call as well to, with the students um, and the tutors to make sure that they're, they're vetted and they're safe. Now, is this it, just for college and university, or is this could be access for high school students, younger so students? So the beta well? launch is actually taking place at Ryerson, U of T in York, and then six months later we'll be launching at universities and colleges across Canada, and six months after that will be high schools across Canada. How did this idea come up? So I was actually struggling struggling a few years ago with tutoring myself and I thought that hey I need a service that where I can get tutoring on demand in my area because the current model only allows you to pre-book and pre-schedule tutoring whereas I needed something that would allow me to get tutoring on the spot. Is there um, in terms of uh, when this actually gets launched uh, you know what should what should people know when, once once it goes live are you going to um, roll out you know certain courses or is everything going to be live all at so once? We've actually we've had our developers scrape the course list for every school and they'll be able to access tutoring for every course at every university. So they can go to tutorist.com and sign up to receive a download link when it becomes available this month. And very quickly, in terms of you know cost, for is it uh, different per tutor or is it kind of a, a general price? So tutors will, will actually have the opportunity to set their own prices based on what they think their quality of tutoring is and what they think the difficulty level is of that course. Well, I think this is a, a, a very exciting thing to do, especially for students who are looking for help and sometimes t tutors aren't necessarily in their neighborhood. Now they have access to a brand new tool. Right. Good luck with it, Global. Thank you. All right. It's 157 and 19.